Hi, I'm Tony and welcome to Immunostaining. And today I'll show you how to fix cells and stain them with the proper primary and secondaries for cell labeling. So first of all, we want to um, we're going to use a 7.4 percent paraffin in 1x PBS to fix our cells. So the first thing we want to do is that we want to grab our handy one P L 1000 pipette, and we want to transfer those the media from the wells that we have looked under the microscope where they're uh, confluent enough to be able to be fixed. That should be around from 40 to about 80. They should not be over confluent or it changes the cell composition. So what we want to do is that we want to take an empty six well plate, label with the exact same well numbers that we are planning to transfer over, and then we want to just transfer about a mill of media from the old well into the new well. Making sure to switch out tips every time to avoid contamination. And you want to just do that to every single one you're planning to transfer. Once you have media transfer from your old wells to your new wells here, we just want to add about a mil of that 7.4% paraffinaldehyde and 1x PBS to each of our new wells to make each well with a total volume of about 2 mils. You also want to make sure that the paraffinaldehyde is warm to about 37 degrees prior to fixing it ensures that the cells are still heat heating to the cover slip while you're doing this process. You can use one of these little specialized forceps here and as you can tell it's, it has a sort of like a bent tip to make it easier to pick up the cover slips. So what you want to do is you want to transfer the cover slips that you have in your old wells and grab them gently and place them into your new face up like it was before. So we just want to keep doing that until we have all of our cover slips transfer. You also want to make sure that the cover slips are submerged under the fixing media and also that they don't overlap each other. Once you have your well, um, your cover slips in the new plates, you want to just take these plates and place them in the incubator at about 37 degrees with about 5% CO2 atmosphere. You want to leave it in there for about precisely 20 minutes. After our 20 minute incubation time, we want to take our plates out and put it on an insulated surface so that way the plates doesn't cool down. What you want to do is you want to grab a glass pipette that's attached to a trap and a vacuum system. You want to turn on that vacuum system. Then you want to just remove all of that fixing media that was in the well before. So we're just going to remove those, okay? Careful not to disturb the cover slips too much. So once you have all of the fixing media removed, you want to just grab your P5000 pipette and set it for about 2 mils. And to each of the wells, you want to add about 2 mils of Na2 buffer. And you want to make sure that it's been warmed to 37 degrees. And you just want to add it to each well. Careful not to actually disturb the cover slip too much because rocking the cover slip will make the cell round themselves and lift off the cover slip, which is something we don't want. Once you have the Na2 buffer added to each well, you just want to cover them and then put them back in the incubator for about two minutes. After the two minutes incubation time, you just want to take the six well plate, put it back onto your insulated surface. And then just remove the old NA2 buffer using the same vacuum system we did before. Once you have that removed, you just want to add a fresh um, 2 mils of NA2 buffer and incubate it for another 2 minutes. After our 2 minute incubation time with the NA buffer, we just want to use our vacuum system again and remove the second wash of NA2 buffer as we did before. 
once the NA2's buffer has been removed, you, you want to grab um, pre-warmed um, Triton, about 10%. And you want to just add about a mil of that to each well. The actual concentration of Triton is 0.1%. Once you have added the time, you just want to recover the plates and put it back in the incubator at 37 degrees for another 10 minutes. After our 10 minute incubation with 0.1% Triton, we just want to remove our 12 plates from the incubator. Put it on an insulated surface here, and then basically gra oh, grabbing a number one Wattman paper, you want to slowly pick up each cover slip from their wells, and then you want to just slowly tap on the edge to wick away an excess solution or try and, and you want to place them inside an incubation chamber that was set up with parafilm, uh, parafilm and a damp sheet of Wattman paper. You want to just place it with the self side facing up on top of the incubation chamber as so. And you want to do that for the rest of them, making sure that you identify which cover slip and which well corresponds to which area on the incubation chamber. So we'll keep doing that until all of our cover slips are in incubation chambers. After we put our car stuff within the incubation chamber where they're supposed to be, you just want to grab your P200 pipette and set it for about 100 microliters and getting some warm blocking buffer and you just want to add about 100 right on top of the cover sub so, so it bubbles on top of the cover sub and you just want to do that to every single one. After you have transfer all of the cover slips from the six wall plates over to incubation chambers. You can discard the six wall plate. You just want to cover up these incubation chambers carefully not to disturb the bubble too much. And then once you have them covered, you just want to put them inside the incubator at 37 degrees for about 30 minutes. So after the incubation with the blocking, you just want to remove your incubation chambers and place them on an insulated surface. And then you want to pick up each cover slip using your fine tip tweezers and wick away this blocking buffer as so. And then you want to use a Q-tip and pick up the rest of the solution from the parafilm to make sure it's clean. And then you just want to put the cover slip back down with the cell facing up. And you want to repeat that for each individual cover slip. After you have finished removing all the blocking buffer and replacing the uh, cover slip back onto the parafilm, you want to grab your P200, set it at about 50. And then with the pre made primary, you want to just pipette that on top of the cover slip carefully. You want to do that to all of the cover set. Once that is, once you have the primary on top, you just want to reseal the incubation chamber and then incubate it at 37 degrees for about an hour or so. After our incubation time of our primaries, you just want to take them out and you want to set up a bubbling system to do the washes as so. As you can tell, these are little bubbles of wash buffer, around 400 microliters each. And you just want to put them in a roll and identify each one's where the cover slips belong to. So what we'll do is that we'll take a cover slip and we just want to pick it up. And using a number one Wattman paper, you just want to wick away any excess solution. And then what you want to do is that you want to place it upside down on top of the bubble. And you want the cover slip to float on top of the bubble and not sink. If it does sink, try picking it up again and placing it on top. If it doesn't, then flip the cover slip and let it sink to the bottom, cell side face up. And you want to continue doing that until you filled up all of the bubbles on the top roll. Let it sit and then transfer the cover slip using a wicking motion like this. and you want to pull the cover slips away from the bubble and set it on top of the next one. 
you want to continue doing that for each bubble for each bubble down you should wait about a 10 minute incubation so that it fish sufficiently washes the stuff that we don't want away down and then once you get down to the bottom we uh, we will transfer them back into our incubation chambers after we have put our cover slip onto our last bowl and made sure that they've been sitting there incubated for 10 minutes you just want to pick up the cover slip with the motion that we did before you want to take it and pull it and once you do that you just want to wick off any extra solution and you want to put it back onto the incubation chamber with the cell side facing up and you want to do that to all of them. After all of the covers have been transferred to incubation chamber you want to take your secondaries and a P200 and pipette about 50 microliters of second antibody right on top of the cover slip, as so. And then once you have had all the second antibodies on top of the cover slip, you just want to cover up the incubation chamber and then place it in a 37 degrees incubator for about an hour and then rewash and then we will go on to mounting. After the hour incubation of secondaries and washing as we did before with the primary, setting up bubbles and transferring them from one bubble to the other, making sure cell sites down, we're ready to mount the cells. So the first thing you do is that you want to get a labeled slide and you want to put a drop of prolonged gold with anaphade just a small drop, using a tip or so, on the, on the slide. And then, next, you want to pick up the cover slip like you did before, trying to pull the solution away from the cover slip. And then using a number one Wattman paper, you just want to wick away any excess solution. And then, with this, you you want to take the cover slip and slide it into the bubble making sure that it covers bottom so making sure there's no air bubbles because air bubbles will prevent you from viewing it properly and then and then you want to take the edge of your Wattman paper and just slowly wick away some of the solution without without moving the cover slip so you just want to take it and slowly touch the edge without moving and you can see it start to soak up some of that antifade and that's just to get rid of some of that excess solution to make it dry faster and then once you're done you want to place this in a dark place without light for instance under one of the, under a surface here or in a drawer we'll just put ours under here and you want to let sit and dry overnight and that's how you stain cover slips.